Live from Livingston Gymnasium, this is Denison Men's Basketball on the Denison Sports Network. Alex Kaufman here, joined alongside by John McGaugh. We're excited to bring you the second half of our NCAC Tournament doubleheader here on DSN. In the first game, which wrapped up about 25 minutes ago, the top-seeded Denison women's basketball team won 66-47 to over eighth-seeded Ohio Wesleyan, and they're now in the semifinals. They'll be hosting the semifinals later this week here on DSN. Friday, Friday night will be actually two games. All both semifinal games will be here at Livingston Gym. Of course, in the second half, the fourth-seeded Denison Big Red will be hosting the five-seeded Wittenberg Tigers. You can see the teams finishing up warm-ups here about three minutes from tip-off. And, John, what are, what are some of the keys tonight for Wittenberg? For, I mean, some of the keys for Wittenberg tonight, although they're a great team right now, standing at 14-11, 9-9 in the NCAC, a couple of keys for them tonight is, you know, give the ball to Jalen Williams. He's leading the team with 14.6 points per game. No one shoots higher than 40% on their team. So, you know, he's just, he's their dude. He's their guy. And a couple other guys is, you know, Zach Brashear held Hiram, uh, you know, 10 points off the bench. And overall, as a team, they held Hiram to 29.2% uh, percentage. Um, so, you know, big time on defense. Their big key is defense here for them. That was their last game. Although they held Hiram to 29.2%, the Tigers actually lost 64 to 60 because their three-point shooting, that was cold. They finished just 5 of 20 from beyond the arc, and that's going to be a big key for the Big Red, who enter with an identical 14-11 and 11 overall record, 9-9 nine and nine in conference play. These two teams tied for fourth, but a tiebreaker based on record against opponents ahead of them in the standings, that made the difference for Denison. Getting some wins against Hiram proved to be big for the Big Red. Of course, Last time out in their season finale, Denison fell 67-63 at Allegheny. The Gators closed on a 23-6 run, and even though the Big Red were plus 19 in rebounds, they couldn't get the job done. It's a game they'd honestly like to forget and start fresh coming into the NCAC tournament. Of course, what does this mean to this Denison team? Talked with John Chang ahead of this matchup, and he said, it means a lot to us. It's been a goal of ours all season. We enjoy playing in front of our home crowd. Hopefully we can get a win in front of them because we know they'll help give us the home court advantage. First time since 2005, actually, that the Big Red will be hosting an NCAC tournament game. So it'll be very exciting. We're going to take a break here on the Denison Sports Network. When we come back, though, it'll be starting lineups and tip-off here from Livingston Gymnasium. We'll be right back. Welcome back here on the Denison Sports Network. Alex Kaufman and John Maga. And we're about ready for tip-off. But first, we've got starting lineups, John. And have for the Tigers. Thank you. And the starting lineup for Wittenberg, number 10, a guard, a, a junior guard from Zania, Ohio, coming in at Cody Phillippe. Number 21, uh, who's a junior, Jalen Williams, standing at 6'5", 185 from Springfield, Ohio. Then we have number 35, Shane Edwards, a guard, 6'3", 200 pounds, junior from Perrysburg, Ohio. Then we have number 40, Alex Fultz, a forward, a senior, 6'5", 210 from Cincinnati, Ohio. And coming in finally, the big boy, number 55, Chad Roy, a sophomore, 6'9", 235 pound uh, forward from Toledo, Ohio. And for the, co the coaches for the Wittenberg Tigers today are Bill, Bill Brown, Matt Crokey, with assistant coaches Matt Crokey, Alan Watson, Pat Carlisle, Nathan Wale. Thank you, John. Now for the host, Big Red. Number five, Garrett Collier, sophomore guard, 6'2", 185 from McLean, Virginia. Number 10, Matthew Bauer, junior wing, 6'6", 190 from Winnetka, Illinois. Number 22, Darius White, a senior guard, 5'9", 165 from Columbus, Ohio. Number 23, Devin Pitts, a junior wing, a 6'3", 215 from New Albany, Ohio. And lastly, number 33, Jet Spielman, a junior post, 6'7", 230 from right here in Granville, Ohio. Of course, the matchup earlier this season, in the regular season, these two teams split, both winning on the road. Denison fell at home, 75-68 on December 12th. While Denison beat Wittenberg, in Springfield, Ohio, 69-59 on January 30th. 
Jalen Williams is going to be a big key for the Tigers. Average 18 and a half points and eight rebounds in the two matchups against Denison. While Chad Roy averaged 12 points per game and shot 80% against Denison. For Dennison, Jet Spielman, he's going to be the big key. He was 1 of 11 shooting in the first matchup, but had 16 points in the second game. The key reserve off the bench is going to be Andrew Castagnetti, who averaged 9 points in the two matchups, including a career-high 13 points the last time these two teams played here at Livingston Gymnasium. The teams are all shaking hands, getting ready to go for this quarter-final matchup in the North Coast Athletic Conference Tournament here on DSN going to be a very, very exciting one, the 4-5 matchup. And Patrick Keller is going to be jumping against Chad Roy in the middle. And that tip goes out of bounds. It's going to go for Dennison as Roy hit it out of bounds. It looks like the starters a little bit different than what we had originally planned. I guess a late last minute change. McEnbauer is going to be coming off the bench. Patrick Keller, who's been often used as a sixth man, he's starting. That's why he was doing the tip off as the ball goes into Keller. Knocked out of bounds by Fultz for the Tigers. 1938 left, 14 on the shot clock for Dennison. Collier inbounds it to Keller. Lands it off back to Collier. Spielman driving pull up. Off the backboard, no good. Rebounded by Jalen Williams. Bad pass for Williams, recovered by the Big Red. On the fast break, Darius White guarded by Williams. Now Denison will slow it down. Darius White needs three three-pointers to break the single season record currently held by Brian Malinowski. Could get all three of them tonight with the way that he hit, that he shoots the ball. Inside, up and under move from Keller, and the Big Red strike first, leading two to nothing a minute in. And a whistle blown. Not sure what for. Something with the some. Issue, I guess, with the scoreboard. I guess the shot clock moved too early. Game clock stays the same. 26 on the shot clock for Wittenberg. Phillippe has it. Now over to Williams. Williams guarded by Devin Pitts. Inside to Roy. Roy all by himself lays it up off the glass. Scores now 2-2. Two to two. Collier on the right wing over to Spielman, top of the key. Hands it off to Pitts. Pitts takes the pick from Spielman. Now Spielman in the post, trying to back down Roy. Turn around. Finesse shot too short. The Tigers off and running. Edwards in the fast break. Passes it to Williams. High off the glass and good. Collier with it for Dennison. On the right wing, White. Inside, Collier has a shot rejected. They're calling a jump ball. And the, on the alternating possession, it'll be Wittenberg ball. 17-51 left in the first half. 4-2 Tigers over Big Red. Edwards bringing the ball up for the Tigers. Over to Philippi. Bounce pass to Williams. On the left wing, Philippi driving against White. Pass too high for Fultz. He's 6'5. That pass would have been to a 6'8 guy. It goes out of bounds. Big Red will get the ball. Turnover now. And Alex, one thing I'm seeing here with the uh, Wittenberg Tigers is that number 35, Shane Edwards, has been glued to Darius White all game. We'll be interested to see how that plays out. Definitely. Of course, Edwards with a bit of a height advantage over White. 
about six, seven inches, and that could prove key in this game. White top of the key over to, now swung around, Pitts near the baseline, kicks it out to Spielman, Spielman a dribble move, puts up the three, no good. Rebound bounced around, recovered by the Tigers and Philippi. Williams on the left wing. That pass, nice job by Spielman to get in the lane. Right with some fancy dribble moves. Thought about taking the three. Instead, Collier now has it. Big Red going to run their offense. Usually running a four out motion. A lot of pass inside to Spielman off the glass. A lot of contact. No whistle. No good on the shot. Tigers going to slow it down. Williams on the right wing in front of the Denison bench. Now Fultz over to Williams. On the left wing, Philippi. Three-pointer from Fultz. No good. Offensive rebound by Philippi. 5'11 guard showing he can get the boards. Inside to Roy. Roy with the big advantage against White. Put it up too strong. And Big Red get the rebound. And the student section gets loud for that. Left wing, Pitts. Over to Keller. Now Pitts on the baseline, backing down Williams. Back out. Spielman driving in, a blocking foul called on Fultz. And mass subs for the Big Red. Kind of like a line change as Matthew Bauer, Andrew Castagnetti, John Cheng, and David Muir all checking in. Jets Spielman the only holdover. Zach Brashear coming in for the Tigers. Cheng a senior wearing a brace on his leg is on the right wing. Castagnetti from beyond the arc. Looked good. Couldn't get it to fall. A career high 13 last time these two teams played here. Now Brashear working quickly. Williams has it guarded by Castanetti. Brashear faked the three. Now lob pass inside to Roy. And a foul by Cheng. Cheng knocked the ball out of Roy's hand. He also hit his arm on that one. Cheng coming back from an offseason ACL tear. Still wearing a brace on his leg. He was telling me it's just more precautionary. He's feeling pretty good. And now Spielman's going to take a seat. So complete bench lineup for the Big Red. Johnny Vernasco now in for Denison. And in Foreman in for the Tigers. Williams guarded by Bauer. Over to Edwards. Edwards guarded by Cheng. Edwards drives baseline. Passes long pass. Top of the key, Brashear. At three, back iron, no good. Long rebound corralled by Muir. Muir brings it up. Back out, slows it down. Fake by Bauer. He got the bike. Layups, no good. Rebound fought for. Horman grabs it for the Tigers. 14-25 left in the first half. 4-2, Wittenberg. Williams on the right wing. Guarded by Bauer. Williams drives, uses a pick in the paint and gets the floater to fall. 6-2 Wittenberg, 14 minutes left in the first half. Right wing Castanetti. Swung over to Muir. Muir turn around in the paint. Stops, passes it back on top of the key. Three from Chang. Switch! 6-5 Wittenberg leads. John Chang now 4-7 on the season from beyond the arc. And he gets the steal. Bounce pass to Muir. Muir on the fast break. The shot blocked. Goes out of bounds. Will remain with Dennison. That shot blocked by Edwards. And a couple more subs coming in for the Tigers. Garrett Dorfman. Ryan Gallimore coming in for Wittenberg. And Alex, one thing I'm seeing from the Wittenberg offense right now is just too many turnovers. Definitely got to handle the ball, especially in a conference tournament game. As Muir drives, puts up the floater, and gets the home rim. Dennison takes the lead, 
Brashear hands it off to Gallimore. Hands it off to Dorfman. Deep three from Brashear. That kid has ice in his veins. He hits the three. Deep three. Man, that's that's like a heat check three, I'll tell you. Bauer hands it off to Castanetti. Mirror drives baseline. Passed it out to Cheng. A little bit of a high pass, but Cheng gets his fingertips on it. 14 on the shot clock. Cheng beyond the arc. Driving. Puts it up. No good. Rebounded by Bernasco. Puts it up off the glass. And good. Some second chance points. Oh, I bet Cheng will probably say that was an alley -oop. That's how I drew it up. The student section getting rowdy now. Over on the baseline now dribbling to the top of the key is Gallimore. Now the deep three from Dorfman, rebounded by Dennison. Muir over to Cheng, inside to Bauer in the post. Muir wide open, top of the key, no good. As Bauer and Horman got tangled up, and Bauer is going to be called for the foul. And just an unfortunate foul when you get tangled up, it happens. As John Cheng and Johnny Vernasco are going to take a seat on the bench. Darius White and Jet Spielman re-enter for Denison. Cody Phillippe running the point now for the Tigers. Gallimore has it. Back to Phillippe on the right wing. Guarded by White. Pass way too long. Tipped around. Muir has it for Denison. Another turnover for Witt. Bounce pass into Spielman against Chris Sloniker, who recently entered. Puts up the turnaround, no good. Rebounded by Sloniker. Top of the key, Horman. 20 on the shot clock. Left wing, Dorfman. Back to Horman. Now the slip screen inside. Looked like he walked, but Horman gets it out. Elbow jumper from Philippi, no good. Rebounded by Witt. And Sloniker does what he can, throws it off of Castanetti. And so Witt will keep the ball. Castanetti goes back to the bench. Max Civic entering the game for the first time. Chad Roy coming back. As well as Alex Fultz for the Tigers. A lot of subs. You want to keep your guys fresh. And these teams both going very deep right now. 11-15 left in the first half. Nine all. And Dorfman has it. Guarded by Civic. Puts up a floater in the paint and hits it. Tigers lead again. 11-9 now. Civic in front of the Wittenberg bench. Over to Muir. Mirror crossover in the lane. Gets the bucket to fall in the paint. The bigger have tied this up at 11. Now on the left wing, Dorfman. Over to Philippi. Inside to Roy. Roy against Bauer. Puts it up and good. Roy 6'9". Two inches taller than any other Denison player, as my goodness. That was almost an interesting assist from Muir as he was falling down, found Spielman, and Spielman put up the layup too strong. Just bounce pass into Roy. Turn around against Spielman, too strong off the glass. Over to Muir, top of the key, Spielman fakes it. Back to Muir, his high school teammate over at Newark Catholic. On the right wing, Bauer from deep hits it. 14-13, Denison retakes the lead. Back and forth thus far. Just past halfway here in the first half. Down more to Philippi. Left wing, Dorfman. Takes pick from Roy who slips into the paint. 
Long pass around, wide open. Gallimore from beyond the arc. Front iron, no good. Rebound by Bauer. Bauer, the leading rebounder for this Denison team. And it looks like the Big Red are going to take a timeout. And so are we here on DSN. 9-11 left in the first half. Denison leading Wittenberg 14-13 in this NCAC tournament quarterfinal matchup. We'll be right back. Welcome back on DSN. 9-11 left here in the first half from Livingston Gymnasium. Denison leading 14-13 over the fifth-seeded Wittenberg Tigers. Let's call your hands it off to White. Now on the left wing, Civic back to Spielman up top of the key. Spielman sets a pick for White. Not a call here. Spielman beyond the arc, top of the key. Puts up the three. Gets it to rattle home. And now Dennison has opened up a four-point lead. 17-13 over Witt. Those are just two big threes right there from Cassignetti and from uh, and from Spielman. Two big ones. Definitely. As Williams has in the post, backing down Civic. Turnaround, smothered by Civic. That shot, no good. Big Red with numbers off the fast break. Keller puts up the layup, gets the whistle, did not get it to fall, so he'll get two free throws now. And Alex, one thing I'm seeing with Wittenberg right now is just kind of sloppiness in their play. Lots of turnovers, four, turner, four turnovers already for them. Fouls here and there. It's the big difference. Five turnovers actually now. And it's the, that's the big difference in the game, I believe, right now. Definitely. is The big red as Keller hits the first. Already have four points off turnovers. And now five-point lead. That's really been the big difference here. As Sloniker will replace Chad Roy for the Tigers. Keller just 56% at the stripe. And a lane violation called. So no free throw there. Keller sinks one of one. 18-13. Williams bringing it up for the Tigers. Hands it to Phillippe. Bounce pass to Edwards. Edwards sloppy pass off the hands of Keller. Alex, you can tell that Wittenberg's a little flustered right now. The home field advantage for the Big Red is definitely key, definitely important. Big student section right in their face. Definitely. It's a great atmosphere here at Livingston. Huge student section, great turnout. And everybody up on their feet, that's the biggest thing. They mess with the Tigers a lot, and they've been loud thus far. As Williams, guarded by Civic, in the paint. Tries to get the foul call, and my goodness, put up a circus shot against Civic's contact and got it to fall. Can't really practice that one. He's going to have a three-point play opportunity as Devin Pitts and Johnny Bernasco, as well as Matt Bauer, return for the Big Red. Collier and White, the two holdovers for Dennison. And Williams misses the free throw. Got to make those when you get the opportunities. 18-15, Denison leading. 7.45 left in the first half. 15 on the shot clock. Bauer on the left wing. Now White, top of the key, back to Collier. Who takes a pick from White. Driving baseline, it's Bernasco now out to Collier from beyond the arc. Short on the three, long rebound. Crowd by Pitts. Pitts puts up the baseline three. Short, rebounded by Phillippe for Wittenberg. Phillippe now swung around to Williams. Williams holding it on the right wing. Now top of the key, Phillippe from beyond the arc. In and out, rebound by Bauer. Bauer puts up the three. Hits it! Matt Bauer really feeling it. Always been a talented three-point shooter. He's been cold for a lot of points this season, but tonight, he's feeling it. Denison now up 6, 21-15. Williams has it. Swung around. Now inside to Williams. Shane Edwards, too strong off the glass. 
but a block called. Bernasco hit the deck. And Alex, one thing we're seeing here from the Big Red is that they have no fear in shooting the big three-point shot. I mean, Bowers got two, plenty down the, you know, all throughout the lineup, Devin Pitts just taking the shots, you know, even though they're not going in, they have confidence. That's a big key to success for the Big Red tonight, and that's why they're up six at this point in the game. Definitely. Big Red used to hitting the three, as that one falls, for Shane Edwards. Dennison shoots 36% from beyond the arc. Hitting 8.8 three-pointers per game. Already have four three-pointers. As that one, that one just died on the back iron, but it falls for Edwards. Count it either way. 21-17, now some full-court pressure from the Tigers. Dennis needs to be careful. Got it across with one second to spare. As David Muir recently re-entered. Now Bernasco, top of the key. Bauer feeling it. He checked time. Hits it. Matthew Bauer, nine points, three of three from beyond the arc. And Dennison is up seven right now. Matt Bauer averages seven points per game. Already has two more than that. we still got five minutes left in the first half. Edwards. Backing down Collier, used a lot of off elbow, but it looks like the block is going to be called on Collier. That's always the toughest call for an official to make, that block charge. Really is, can go either way most of the time. Definitely. And no matter how you call it as ref, somebody's going to be mad at you. <laughs> and the five second violation is called. Edwards tried to get it in, could not get it on in. Oh no, looks like it's going to be a foul called instead. Seemed like a quick five. Definitely, definitely. But still goes down as a turnover for the Tigers. Another one, one of many. And Alex, I'm just seeing that Wittenberg rattled right now. The home field, the home court advantage for the Big Red is paying their dividends. Uh, you know, they're just making some mental mistakes that they usually don't make in their games. Definitely. Now, Denison, first time since 2005, they're hosting an NCAC tournament game. You can tell that home field advantage, home court advantage, excuse me, really does make a difference. His pitch drives, jump stop, and puts it up off the glass and in. Big Red up 9, 26 to 17. Big Red with some aggressive defense, forcing a lot of wet turnovers. As Horman has it, inside. No foul called as Edwards gets the layup to fall. And nice, nice layup there by Edwards. Way to go up for it and not afraid to get hit while he went up there. On the right wing, Collier. Into a cutting Pitts. Pitts puts it up off the glass. No good. Gets his own rebound. Fights to put it back up. That shot blocked back out beyond the arc. Muir gets his man to bite for the fake and hits the elbow jumper. Nice job by Muir. Four and a half left in the first half. Big Red up 28 to 19. Ray Shear running the point guarded by Muir. Shear the best three point shooter on this Tigers team. From the right wing fakes the three. Now just inside the arc takes the long two. And the rebound fought for. For Nasco got it for Dennison. Collier driving inside, and a hand check called on Edwards. Tried to grab for the ball, instead just grabbed Collier's stomach, it looked like. There's a lot of subs for Dennison. You're the only holdover. Alongside him now, Cassinetti, Keller, Chang, and Spielman. Chad Roy returns for Witt. Likely a big matchup for the Tigers. Coach Bill Brown likely wants to make sure that the longest and tallest guy possible on his roster as the three from Muir is good. Dennison now up by double digits, 31 to 19. And a timeout called. Wittenberg, 345 left in the first half. Big Red up 31 to 19. We'll be right back here on DSN. Welcome back on DSN. After that 
32nd timeout. Wittenberg has the ball. Philippi driving. Inside against Mir. Puts it up off the glass in between two Denison defenders. Somehow gets it to fall. Three and a half left in the first half. Big right up by 10. Mir working quickly. Jumper just outside the paint. Just outside the restricted area. No good for Muir. Just trying to get a quick answer. Could not get it to fall. Foreman now over to Brashear. In the paint, Roy in and out as there is a foul called. Looks like it's going to be on Castagnetti. As Roy will then be shooting two. No, it looks like they're calling the foul on the ground. I thought it was on the shot. They're saying no. Of course, in the NBA, you get two shots. No continuation in college basketball. Philippi now on the baseline. Now by the left wing. Tigers passing it around. Garrett Dorfman puts up an awkward looking shot at the free throw line, but it counts as two either way. 31 23, Denison leading. Spielman hands it off to Castagnetti. On the baseline, Chang now right wing Castagnetti. Back to Chang. Chang trying to look for Spielman in the post, but he is guarded very tightly by Roy. Top of the key, Spielman has it. Six on the shot clock, drives inside, gets some contact from Roy, fights through it, and gets the layup to fall. And I'll tell you this right now, Alex, if he was not 6'7", he probably wouldn't have gotten that shot, but that doesn't matter because he is. Exactly. You see LeBron do that all the time. When you're big and strong, you can do that. It's pretty sheer for me on the arc. No good high rebound gotten by Castagnetti. Now White from beyond the arc has it. Now on the short corner switch from John Chang in front of the Wittenberg bench. Denison, biggest lead of the game, 36-23. And another timeout called by the Tigers. This game's getting away from them. 152 left in the first half. And it is a 30-second timeout. We're going to keep it right here on the Denison Sports Network. Alex Kaufman and John Maga here live from Livingston Gymnasium. And John turnovers it seems like that's been the biggest thing the biggest Achilles heel for the Tigers I mean exactly Alex they have they've committed six turnovers tonight Denison's only committed one that's just the biggest you know it's a big key to, to success in this game and to put it in perspective Denison's just hot right now I mean they've been on a roll with their three-point game definitely big red six of 11 from beyond the arc 55 percent that's just a great percentage I believe they talk about the four factors. I believe two of those, a field goal percentage, efficiency, and handling the ball, both forcing and not committing turnovers. The Big Red have been great at that, and that's why they are up by double digits. 15 on the shot clock now for the Tigers. Fultz has it. Back to Dorfman. Dorfman takes a pick from Fultz. Fultz beyond the arc. Six on the shot clock. Hits the deep three. Nothing you can do about that. Spielman is guarding him as much as he really could. You don't expect somebody to take an NBA range three here in college. But Spielman in the post. Double team. Puts it up off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Fultz for the Tigers. Wittenberg with an opportunity to cut the deficit into single digits. Driving inside. Philippi up off the glass. He hits it. 60 seconds left in the first half. Denison up by eight. Chang driving, passes it too strong for Spielman, hits off his leg and out of bounds. 55.3 left in the first half. Mir coming back in, replacing Chang. And Alex, you got to respect that there's no quit in the Tigers right now. They're continuing to the last second here in the first half. Oh, definitely. I'm sure in one of these timeouts, Coach Bill Brown had to remind him, if you guys don't win, this game is your last. And they've cut this deficit by five points now. As another turnover from the Tigers. A bad pass from Dorfman. Proud by the long arms of Spielman. Now Muir has it. Spielman getting ready to set a pick. 19 on the shot clock. 27 on the game clock. Max Civic on the left wing in front of the Witt bench. Bounce pass inside to Spielman. Five on the shot clock. Muir 
That poked out of bounds. It'll stay with Dennison. 11.7 left on the game clock. Just two on the shot clock. So whatever the Big Red have off this inbound, they're going to need to get something up very quickly. Otherwise, it'll be a shot clock violation. Mira looking for somebody. Lob pass out to Civic. Civic almost hits the three off the glass. The shot clock is off. Five seconds left. And Fultz putting up the lamp. A charge called. Two seconds left. Max Civic. Nice job. Hitting the hardwood. Getting the charge call. And it's going the other way. You sold that foul. I mean, that was textbook Grammy Award worthy sell right there. So another turnover as well for the Tigers. 2.1 left. That's enough 36 28. As Mir puts up the shot from beyond half court. Almost hits it. And that's how we will end the first half here from Livingston Gymnasium. Dennison leading Wittenberg, the four seed leading the five seed here in the NCAC Tournament quarterfinals, 36 to 28. We're going to take a break for halftime here on the Dennison Sports Network. When we come back, it will be halftime stats and analysis. Don't go anywhere. You're watching on DSN. Welcome back on the Dennison Sports Network. Still halftime, about two minutes left in halftime. Alex Falcon and John Maga here on DSN. Big Red up 36-28. Fourth seeded Big Red, I should say. Up 36-28 on fifth seeded Wittenberg here in the NCAC Tournament quarterfinals. We've got some halftime stats and analysis for you. Of course, the biggest thing that stands out is eight turnovers for Wittenberg. Big Red have six points off those turnovers. While Wittenberg does not have a single point off a turnover. Of course, Dennison also outscoring Wittenberg 26 to 7 in bench points. That's a big difference. I mean, you look, Matthew Bauer with nine off the bench, John Cheng with six off the bench, David Muir with nine off the bench. It's a lot of points right there from key reserves. This big red team really showing its depth right now. And to add to that, Alex. 12 players from the Big Red have seen court time tonight. And everyone on this like team can play pretty much in the game. You know, The coach is not afraid. Coach Colon is not afraid to put guys in. No, definitely not. He knows a lot of guys can get a lot of work done. Of course, Big Red actually outshot in the first half. Wittenberg finished 52% in the first 20 minutes from the field. Denison just 45%. But the Big Red attempted eight more shots courtesy of a lot of those turnovers from Wittenberg and we're 7 of 13 from beyond the arc. That's been the biggest difference. When the Big Red can stick the three ball, they are a very tough team to beat. Right now, Denison's up by 8, but they've got to keep this lead. We've got another 20 minutes of basketball coming up. The teams are in their huddles. About 14 seconds left before the start of the second half here on DSN. And honestly, Alex, this half could go either way. Both teams have seen their fair share of being hot tonight. Denison's been, I'd say, a little hotter. As you can see, the eight-point lead and lots of three balls and things just going their way. No turnovers, but Wittenberg come back at any moment. They are not going to quit. This could be their last half of basketball for either team. Going to be a great half here. Now, I'm no math major, so I might be off on the air. It's been four or five years. I believe five years since the Big Red last won an NCAC tournament game. Actually, five years ago, they went to the NCAC tournament title game. Very nearly ended up winning it. Actually, one member from that team, Briggs King, here in attendance. As on the left wing, Spielman with a quick three. Rebounded by Darius White. White takes a pick from Pitts. Collier driving baseline. Puts up off the glass, gets it to fall. The Big Red strike first in the second half, just like they did in the first. That lead now extended to double digits, 38-28. Jalen Williams has a bounce pass to Philippi for the Tigers. Tigers sticking with their same starters from the first half. Philippi, Williams, Edwards, Fultz, and Roy. Williams nearly loses it between his legs, recovers it. Shot clock in single digits. Philippi on the wing, passes it. Now inside to Roy and a whistle blown. No shot, foul. Going to be called on the floor on Patrick Keller. Number 31, Patrick Keller. His first personal foul. First team foul. Dennison going with its same starters. Collier, Keller, Pitts, Spielman, and White. 
has 26 on the shot clock as it was reset. And early in the shot clock, Roy able to get the bucket to fall off the glass. Thus far, the Tigers have let everybody but the Big Reds' two leading scorers beat them. Excuse me, two of the big three, I should say, as White and Spielman have been really shut down. So that bucket's good, 40 to 30 now, Dennison leading. And a great put back there by Devin Pitts, a one-handed layup, just nice work, staying with it. Williams driving inside against Pitts, gets the floater to fall. Big Red, they'll be content to trade baskets as they have an eight-point cushion. Patrick Keller hands it to Collier. Collier driving inside in the paint. Bounce pass out to Spielman. Spielman, turn around. Ball stolen by Phillippe. Phillippe can't hold on to it. Keller gets it and then tries to pass it to Spielman as he's falling. Instead, Fultz gets in the way. Wittenberg contingent coming from Springfield not too too far away and they're chanting let's go wit right now trying to get their team riled up and back in this game as the three ball from Fultz is good and that deficit now just five for the Tigers back out passing around the Dennis, the Dennis and Big Red are Spielman has it out to Collier. Collier driving. Jump stop. Turns it around. Bounce pass into Spielman. Puts up the layup. 42-35. Dennison up. And a great look there by Collier. Just a way to, you know, find Spielman under the basket. You know, not easy. Not an easy pass at all. Not at all. A good find. Great court vision by Garrett Collier. It's the reason he runs the point. Now inside, Phillippe puts it up high off the glass and in. Just took it himself to the hole. Had a height advantage against White. Took advantage of that. Spielman lob pass into Pitts. And that one deflected by Williams. As Matt Bauer coming in, replacing Spielman. Actually, a timeout is going to be called. Looks like Coach Coloni not liking that the Tigers are getting back into this game. So... He's calling a 30 to talk it over with his team, maybe calm him down a little bit after halftime. Now it's only been a couple minutes here into the second half, but what have you seen really? Any differences out of the locker rooms for these teams? I mean, Wittenberg has come back to this half ready to play. You know, they've cut their turnovers down a few, a little bit. And I see Denson get off to a little bit of a slower start here, maybe a little rattled turnover here or there. Just, you know, not great. But, you know, at the same time, they're doing a great job finding the great passes. Garrett Collier is a great example of that at the point. Just great, excellent court vision. Definitely. is the Big Red. They are going to stick with the same lineup except Spielman out, Bauer in. So the lineup they were going to have before calling the timeout. 15 on the shot clock. Collier finding a cutting Keller down low. And my goodness, he's tackled by Roy. Roy just fell on Keller. And yeah, whistle. Whistle blown there. That makes sense. <laughs> Don't think anybody can argue with that one. It's just a little bit too much momentum for Roy. He's going to go back to the bench. Replaced by Chris Sloniker. Honestly, Roy just may be a little shaken up after that one. Understandably so, understandably so. Call your top of the key. It's bigger try to run their offense, but very, very tight defense. White over to Bauer. Bauer from beyond the arc, short. That rebound by Edwards for the Tigers. Edwards in front of his own bench. Over to Phillippe, back to Edwards. Pass too strong for Phillip. He almost lost it. He's double teamed. That leaves the man wide open. Fultz, but getting back quickly in the middle of the man. Dennison, the big red do. Williams has it. Guarded by Pitts. Williams puts up the three and hits it. My goodness. That was like a J.R. Smith shot with a hand in his face, dribbling around. But if it goes, nobody's going to complain. Of course, now just two points. Dennison's leading 
Got to get something to fall. The student section nearly silent right now for the Big Red. Right now I'm hearing more court no more fan noises. That long two from White is short. Gets the quick rebound. The shot clock didn't reset, but it didn't matter as White hits the jumper. Now four-point lead for Dennison. Williams drives, dribbles it off his foot. A little bit of soccer played as that one ends up going out of bounds off of Keller's foot. As Chang, Castanetti, Muir, and Spielman return for Dennison. Keller the only holdover for the Big Red. 15-14 left in the second half. 44-40, Dennison leading. And Alex, we're seeing Jalen Williams just kind of come out of his shell a little bit here. This is the team's leading scorer. He's stepping up to the plate, taking control of the offense. He's excited to see what he can do this half. He's not afraid to take a shot from anywhere. He's double teamed beyond the arc. Swung around. Long pass cross court. Williams driving inside. Puts it up off the glass. Saw Spielman standing there, wanting to take the charge. Instead, put up the layup without any contact. Lead down to just two for Dennison. As Muir drives, puts up layup, gets the foul call. Tews it hard, both Williams and Sloniker there. The foul's gonna go on <coughs> Sloniker. That'll send Muir to the line, shooting two. Hits the first. Now, Muir, he is not afraid. Never has been afraid, but really this season he has not been afraid to drive to the hole. He actually was in Palo Alto, California. Worked out with the Stanford basketball team for 12 weeks last summer. He misses the second rebound by Cassinetti, so the bigger get a new 30. As that one is good by Muir. The baseline three-pointer. 48-42, Dennison. Samir missing the free throw, ends up getting them three points instead of just one. Williams has it on the right wing, guarded by Bauer. Pull up jumper, hits it in the paint. Great defense by Bauer, but how much you can do. Williams really heating up in the second half. Samir driving inside, gets the lane. Lamp no good off the back iron. Mir saw an opening, just could not get the layup to fall. Six minutes gone by in the second half. Figured up by four. Top of the key, Garrett Dorfman has it. Over to Williams. Williams with 13 and ends up getting a finder there. Dorfman with the layup. Spielman drives and fouled by Sloniker. And I believe a technical is going to be assessed here. And Alex, just to comment on Mura, you know, he is a little bit undersized, but you just, you've been seeing his play all year long. Fearless up the middle. I mean, he is absolutely fearless. I don't know what they drink out in Palo Alto, but apparently the Kool-Aid must be good <laughs> out there because he has turned it on this year. It's some sort of like Silicon Valley developed drink, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure, yes. New age technological Gatorade. Of course, as the um, technical foul is going to be assessed, we're going to have to talk it over. Spielman's going to be taking the free throw, leading the team in the ball. free throw percentage, I should say. Now, Spielman, actually that technical is going to be called on Fultz, not on Sloniker, but Spielman shooting the free throws regardless. A shade under 90% from the line. He actually steps back to talk with his teammates near half court as the refs are continuing to talk it over. 13.44 left. Dennis up 48-46. Spielman a very, very strong free throw shooter. Usually the bigger guys, the taller guys. Not known for their free throw shooting ability. But Spielman, he can hit it from just about anywhere. It's the first free throw. And makes them both.
Guess he's going to get a third one. It's three. Not... Oh, two technicals were called. Now I follow. They don't tell us broadcasters much. No. <laughs> Four free throws for Spielman. And right there, two technical fouls end up really costing the Tigers. They had, it down, they had it down to just two points. And Alex, that was huge, huge. Desmond still gets the ball. Unbelievable by Jed Spielman. Just really put the team on his back right there. Definitely. Huge. That's what happens when you get a great free throw shooter at the line. He hits all four, and this is a completely different game. As Mira drives and kicks out to Chang. No good on the three. A bit too strong. Rebound fought for. Out of bounds. Going to the Tigers. And Alex, that was almost a seven point possession for the Big Red. You never, ever see that in basketball. Just a huge, no, game-changing job. You see that in football, but never. Never in basketball. No. I mean, that is, that is very unique, and, you know, what a great job by Jet just to get those four, those four three throws. Not an easy thing to do, especially, you know, you had to be very focused mentally in that. Of course, it looks like Spielman's going to be called for an off-ball foul. 13-17 <coughs> left in the second half. 52-46. Wittenberg set to inbound under their own hoop. Williams has it, guarded by Bauer. Williams guarded closely, airballs that shot. He'd been feeling it for a while, but not right there. His mirror has it, Castanetti from the right wing. Too long on the three, high rebound, corralled by Williams. On the right wing, Dorfman, guarded by Chang. Gallimore, well beyond the three-point arc over to Williams. Top of the key, three attempt from Gallimore. Front iron, back iron, front iron no good. And a loose ball foul going to be called on Foreman for the Tigers. So it'll be big red ball. And Philippi and Edwards return for the Tigers. White returns for Dennison replacing John Chang. In for Wittenberg. White has attempted just two shots thus far, just one three-pointer. Bauer hands it to White. White guarded by Edwards. My goodness, that is a big height difference. And a walk from Muir. Muir had an opportunity, just went too quickly, and his momentum took him forward, took an extra step. Had an opportunity. Instead, will go down as a turnover. Muir is going to take a seat, replaced by Collier. I do want to mention, in the regular season, in Denison's win against Wittenberg, Darius White, 6 of 9 from beyond the arc. That's why you see Coach Brown for the Tigers, really guarding him closely with a lot of bigger guys. As that pass sails over the head of Roy from Philippi, out of bounds. Another turnover for the Tigers. And Alex, that was an ugly turnover, just untimely. They needed to get that ball into the right hands of a, you know, someone like Jalen Williams, something like that, and they did not capitalize. You know, that's the reason why they're here in this position, down six with 12 minutes left to play. Not what you want to see. Roy 6'9", overthrow, overthrowing him is just not good. It's Max Civic in the game for Denison. Just over eight minutes gone by in the second half as White lays it in, showing he can't, showing he does more than just hit the three ball. Big Red up 54-46. Edwards, top of the key, over to Philippi. Philippi now over to Dorfman. Dorfman taking a pick, passes it to Philippi, swung around, long cross court pass, now beyond the arc, Dorfman hits it. Big Red working quickly, getting set in their offense. Turnaround from Spielman, and a whistle blow. Foul on Chad Roy. Foul's called on number 55, Chad Roy. So Spielman going back to the line. Team foul number six. Shooting two. It's the first. 
And Spielman's just been clutch at the free throw line tonight. I mean, five for five, I, I just unbelievable, really. I mean, this is a big key to the team's success right now. He's focused and concentration is, is clutch. Of course, the old broadcaster jinx happens once again. That's on me. That's on me. Big right up by six. Philippi driving past everybody. Heffel steam and gets the layup. 55-51. Dennison leading. Top of the key. Spielman took a step before putting the ball on the ground. And that's a walk. 11.02 left. Dennis up 55-51. Can't get sloppy, though. Big tournament game. Dorfman to Edwards. Now Philippi getting a slip screen from Roy. Roy in the post, double team. Now over to a cutting Edwards. Way too strong off the glass. Rebound fought for. Edwards gets it and puts up the layup. No quitting the Tigers tonight, Alex. No quitting the Tigers. Going to be a close game here come finish time. Definitely. As White slips, almost loses the ball. Actually does lose the ball now as Edwards gets it in a foul by White. Smart foul to prevent the easy fast break layup. But instead it'll mean still in a possession for the Tigers. 10-24 left. Wittenberg has an opportunity to tie this game up right now. 55-53, Dennison leading. And a timeout called by head coach Bob Galoni. He needs to talk it over with his team. Hessen up by just two right now, seeing their lead evaporate in front of our eyes. We're going to take a break on the Denison Sports Network. 10.24 left in the second half. Big Red leading 55-53. Welcome back on DSN. Off of that Denison timeout, Wittenberg inbounding. And a foul on the ground on Collier. His turnaround from Edwards did not fall. That's the fourth team foul here in the second half. Six team fouls on the visiting Tigers. Just another inbound and a new fresh shot clock as the jumper off the inbound from Philippi is short. White Running the point now for Dennison. Top of the key to Keller. Keller hands it to Civic. Civic finding a cutting. Collier, Collier too short on the bunny. And the Tigers get it. And Phillippe on the right wing. Calling out a play. An off ball pick was set by Roy. Nothing doing there. Now, Phil now Philippi drives and hits the layup. This game's tied, 55 all. As White passes it and loses it, and the Tigers get it. In the first half it seemed like the turnovers were all Tigers right now. And a big red turnover could give Wittenberg their first lead in a long while. And Alex, this game has got a lot more interesting. Now Roy inside, walks, and a big turnover there. And a lot of subs coming for Dennison. Resetting you on the big red lineup, it's Keller, Muir, Bauer, Pitts, and Cheng. Muir has it. Nine minutes left in the second half. Tied at 55. I come down to these last few minutes. Top of the key, Muir over to Bauer. Now in the post, Pitts backing down Edwards out to Muir from beyond the arc. Hits it! The Big Red are back on top, 58-55. That was big time. That was a big three there. Big Red really needed that offensively. Now in front of the bench, Edwards. Long pass to Horman. Horman, the short corner three, hits it. And this game's tied. Trading baskets right now. Chang top of the key. Mirror on the left wing, guarded by Phillip. He gets a pick. Now mismatch against Roy in the paint. The hoop and the harm for Muir. 
as Roy, too much contact. Muir took advantage a little bit quicker than the bigger Roy. And he got and he caught big post player, 6'9", reaching. And that is the big difference, and that's the reason that Muir is at the line right now. Three-point play opportunity. Jalen Williams coming back in. Very interesting. Williams on the bench for a lot of this back and forth, a lot of this comeback for the Tigers. But now he's back. Is the big red. Now up three, Muir sinks the free throw. Philippi in front of his own bench on the wing. Takes a pick from Horman. Now Horman near the baseline. Jumps around the three-point arc to Williams. Hands it off to Edwards. Edwards in the paint. Kicks it out short corner from Dorfman. Hits the three right in front of his own bench. We're back to tied at 61. John Chang driving inside, loses the ball. Williams picks it up for the Tigers. Hands it off to Philippi and tells him to slow it down. Dorfman. Foreman. Philippi, double team. Now just mirror on him. Over to Edwards. Or excuse me, Williams. Williams beyond the arc. No good on the three and a whistle blown. It's going the other way as an off-ball foul called on Horman. Actually a 1-1 one one for Dennison as the Tigers now in the bonus. Patrick Keller is going to be shooting the free throws. Castagnetti coming in for Dennison. Actually, Chang is going to be taking the free throw, it looks like. And Alex, John, John Chang has been a very solid player overall for the Big Red this year. Hasn't seen a ton of time because of the ACL, but towards the this second part of the season, he's just come on. He has. He rehabbed and worked his way back as he hits the first free throw, gets a home rim, and now he'll get a second. Spielman coming in to replace Keller. Chang, this is eighth game played on the season. Hits both free throws, and he's going to take a seat on the bench after making those two. Replaced by Andrew Castagnetti. 7.07 left in the second half. 63-61, Dennison leading. Now, John, what's going to come down to in these last seven minutes for the Big Red if they want to get the victory? If they want to get the, if they want to get the victory, that's to be sound offensively. They're playing great defense, a great scheme. has been called by Coach Galoni. Just sound offensively, take the right shot. As the three find is rhythm. short from Dorfman. Rebound tried to be saved by Williams. Unable to. Now the Big Red on the fast break. Ball poked from behind. Near had it, but Philippi did not get all ball. So, Muir is going to be heading to the line as Sloniker comes in, replacing Fultz. It seems like this has been a really even matchup, and that shouldn't really be too surprising. These two teams, fourth and fifth seeded in the NCAC tournament, identical 14-11 and 11 records and 9-9 nine and nine records in conference play. Muir hit the first free throw. So he'll get a second, 64-61 Denison. And you could hear a pin drop in Livingston Gymnasium. It is so quiet. You're able to concentrate on both. It seems like Big Red really, free throws have been a huge difference. Denison up 65-61. 11-13 at the line. As Edwards has it. Over to Dorfman. Dorfman back to Edwards. Passes it to Philippi. Philippi, step back three pointer short, rebounded by Muir. And the three straight away in and out from Spielman. Spielman wide open though, of course, cherry picking Williams. One guy to beat, unable to, and a nice foul by Muir. As Williams had an easy layup, he, or so he thought. 
They are getting in the way, forcing enough contact. So Williams is going to have to earn those two at the free throw line. And yes, you're right, Alex. You a big, gutsy play. We've been seeing it all year from David Muir. Not afraid to get in someone's face. Big mismatch here. I mean, Muir is 5'10 on a good day, and Williams is a full 6'4", but again, just not afraid to use his body. Williams, a 77% free throw shooter. Those are two big ones for him. Hits the first. Six oh four left in this NCAC tournament quarterfinal game. Really impressive turnout. Student section still on its feet. Of course, not doing too much to mess with Williams, who hits both free throws. Tennyson up to 65-63. Top of the key, Bauer. Shuttles it to Pitts. Bauer inside, guarded by Williams. Turnaround jumper. Doesn't go, but gets the foul call. Williams can't believe it. So Bauer's going to the line to shoot two. Dennison 12 of 14 at the line. Excuse me. Now, I believe 12 of 14. Now 13 of 15. I can't. I can't read the live stats. So I'm not a math major. Right, John? Yeah. Of course, Bauer hits them both. Get Collier checking in. And clutch free throws from Bauer right there. He's just been a, so a rock for this team right now. Big reason why that's in his leading four. Philippi bounce pass to Dorfman. Philippi almost gets it stolen by Muir. Now inside Sloniker. Gets the hoop and the harm. Bauer went straight up. Sloniker leaned into him a little bit. It doesn't matter. He got the bucket to fall and now has an opportunity at three the old-fashioned way. 67-65. Sloniker. 53% from the line. I guess he can throw the numbers out as he hits that one. And timeout called after that made free throw. We're going to take a break. 5.31 left in the second half. Denison leading 67-66 here in the NCAC Tournament quarterfinal on DSN. Welcome back on DSN. Alex Kaufman, John Maga. 5.31 left. Denison up 67-66. At that timeout, the Big Red will be inbounding. Five and a half minutes. Very close game. That's what you expect from the 4-5 matchup, especially in the NCAC tournament. One team, this is going to be their last game. As Pitts, that pass swatted back to him. 15 on the shot clock. Spielman, turn around, loses the ball, but a whistle blown. Foul's going to be going on to Philippi. And a double bonus. Two free throws now for Spielman. Spielman, five of six at the line. Best free throw shooter on the team. Been up at around or above 90% all year. Made his first, I believe, 24 consecutive free throws. It's been found money for him. Definitely. I mean, Jets has been a big leader on this team. A D2 transfer came in here and has just shown him, you know, shown the team and everyone at, really at Denison in the sports community why he, you know, he's a high caliber player and he can really put a team on his back and he can score anywhere from 8 to 25 points a game and just can do almost anything. This team's leading score, 17.9 a night. Hits the first. Big Red now up by two. Of course, Spielman, you mentioned Division II transfer. Not too far away from here, Ashland University. Actually, my dad's alma mater. Of course, back when he went, it was just a college, Ashland College. The Spielman... Hits both free throws. Roy and Corman coming back in for the Tigers. 5-12 left. 69-66 Denison. A little bit of full court pressure. The Big Red backing off. Of course not before. Almost another turnover for the Tigers. 
Five minutes left. On the wing, Edwards to Williams. Back out to Edwards. Edwards with a height advantage, guarded by Collier. Back to Jalen Williams. Williams driving against Bauer. Puts it up with a hand in his face, in and out. Rebound by Bauer. Bauer's had a very good game today on both sides of the ball. He's had a few threes, had some great defensive plays as Collier drives, kicks it back out. Swung around by the Big Red. Here, looking for Spielman in the post, but Roy smothering him. Six on the shot clock, going to have to make something happen. Here ends up losing the ball. Thought there should have been a whistle blown. Edwards with the steal. Now pull up three from Philippi and hits it. And holds the follow through. This game tied once again. 69 all. Collier on the wing. To Bauer. Muir. Guarded by Edwards. Giving up a good five inches. Takes the pick and a blocking foul called. Going to be on Chad Roy for Wittenberg. And that means two free throws coming for Muir. And Alex, just again, you see the toughness from David Muir. He's not afraid to drive. And his ability to drive to the lane is the reason that he's getting these two shots right here. Muir from right here in Granville, Ohio. Attended Newark Catholic High School. Hits the first. Gives the Big Red another lead. 70-69 as Castagnetti replaces Devin Pitts. And Roy's going to take a seat on the bench. Slonica replacing him. Seems like some matchup substitutions. Definitely. Mirror the rim on friendly. It's just one of two. 70 69 Denison. Philippi brings it up to Edwards. Edwards takes a pick from Sloniker, but doesn't actually use it. Loses the ball out of bounds. Could not save it. The Big Red will have possession. White replacing Collier. So right now for Denison, it is Bauer, Muir, White, Castagnetti, and Spielman on the court. Three and a half minutes left. Big Red up by one. Muir to Bauer. White beyond the arc. Now Bauer takes the three and hits it. That's Bauer's fourth made three of the game. Watch three there by Bauer. Just, I mean, he's killing a three-point game right now. This big red team, they average 8.8 threes per game. That one, they're tenth right now. As the layup from Sloniker is good, cuts the deficit for the Tigers in half. Big red still up 73-71. And Alex, it's almost a one-possession game right now, but Wittenberg Tigers are not quitting. No, it's been back and forth. As White thought about the three, Muir does take it. No good. That rebound fought for. A lot of contact. But here, Spielman thinking that he should have gotten a whistle there. Instead, the Tigers have it. Now, setting up their offense. Inside to Sloniker. Sloniker gets the and one as Castagnetti hits the deck. Slon tried to take the charge, and he's holding his head right now. Hopefully he is okay. Sloniker ran into him hard. As you can hear, some fans not pleased with that call. Timeout, full timeout going to be called by Wittenberg head coach Bill Brown. So we're going to take a break on the Denison Sports Network. 224 left, 73 all. A free throw coming for the Tigers. It's coming down to the wire, so stick with us here on the Denison Sports Network. Welcome back on the Denison Sports Network. 2.24 left, 73 all. Sloniker has his and one free throw right now. He hits it, will give Wittenberg the lead. He does not, rebound fought for, goes out of bounds, last touch by Horman for the Tigers. So it'll be big red basketball. And Alex, that was a very important free throw right there. You know, could have changed the momentum of the game. And you could, you know, just barely miss that shot. Now Dennison ball, and here we go. Just about two minutes left in this game. 73 all. Bauer open on the wing. Hits the three. His fifth 
three-pointer of the night gives the Big Red a 76-73 lead. And my goodness, Matthew Bauer. There is a word to describe him, and it is clutch. Jalen Williams has it. His entire student section chanting defense. Shot clock in single inch, the three from Williams, short, rebound, tipped out to Spielman. The Big Red have an opportunity to extend this lead. But first, a timeout called by Denison head coach Bob Galoni. 22 left on the shot clock, 91 seconds to go here at Livingston Gymnasium. A full timeout called, but we're going to stick right here on the Denison Sports Network. I mean, it's been a crazy back and forth second half. What an amazing quarterfinal game in this NCAC tournament. Am I right? Alex, you are spot on. I mean, just a scrappy dogfight out here. Uh, and the biggest, I think the biggest difference in the game is just Denison's ability to get hot at the right times. Clutch three-point shooting all around the team. Especially got to give a hand to Matthew Bauer, who is, he's got 14 points on the night and just you know, playing out of his mind. We haven't seen him play like this all year. For sure. I mean, I caught up with Patrick Keller before this game and talked with him and asked him about what he thought about this team's chances in the tournament. And he said, we're planning on winning it. We've shown that we can play with every team in there. They just got to put it together and finish. And right now, the Big Red putting it together late, up by three with 91 seconds to go. Now, uh, we're, sorry about that, um, 91 seconds left. It's still a one, pos a point, uh, one possession game here for the Big Red, you know, anything can go, anything can go, Wittenberg is not, not giving up at all. Muir, bounce pass to Spielman, Bauer beyond the arc, got him very tightly now. Muir fakes the three, gets a little space. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. He's going to have to do something quickly. Drives inside, hits the layup. Denison up by five. And all the big red fans in attendance are on their feet. Alex, we've been talking about it all game. Muir is not afraid to drive up the paint. Clutch play by him right there. Absolutely clutch. Under a minute to go. Phillippe with the ball, taking a pick from Williams. Now, Phillippe, top of the key, way beyond the arc. Shot clock down to five. Trying something. Step back three. Short. But a layup by Roy falls. Ends up working out as a pass. Big Red still up by three. 30 seconds left. About five seconds if not fewer, separating the game clock and shot clock. Philippi tried to foul. It looks like instead a timeout called by Dennison. 26.5 seconds left. We're going to take a quick break on the Dennison Sports Network. When we come back to the conclusion of this great game. Big Red up 78-75, NCAC Tournament quarterfinals here from Livingston Gymnasium on DSN. Welcome back on the Denison Sports Network. 26.5 to go here from Livingston Gymnasium. Fourth seeded Denison leading fifth seeded Wittenberg 78 to 75. Big Red set to inbound. They get the ball in and a foul called. Of course, the clock kept running a little bit after that, but don't know if the officials noticed. Jalen Williams noticed. That's for sure. As he's pointing at the clock, the officials might have to go to the scores table to get things settled before Bauer goes and takes two free throws. Bauer 2-2 two, two at the line, 5-6 of six from beyond the arc, 17 points. And Alex, you just bet that Bauer is just stoned in right now, focused on this game. 23.2 seconds left. He's, you know, he's been leading the team the entire game, and let's just see what he gets to do right here. I'm, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. These last 23.2 seconds going to be action-packed. Definitely. Of course, first come those Bauer free throws. Got to hit at least one if you're Denison because that makes it automatically a two-possession game. Can't even tie it up. Of course, every free throw they make, 
just make, puts that game a little more out of reach. Exactly, and this is where home field, home court advantage just comes into play. You know, a great student section behind him right now. Not going to get in his head at all. In, ahead at all. all that's going to matter is he in the basket right now. Definitely. The Big Red really excited to host this game. First time since 2005 that the Big Red are hosting an NCAC tournament game. As the rim is lucky to Bauer. Everything else is falling for him tonight, so why not that free throw? Dennis it up by four. Collier coming back in for Dennison. Bauer hits them both now as 19. Winberg's got to move here. Winberg's got to move. Shot clock is off. Under 20 seconds. They're down by five. Pass back out. Tipped around. Almost stolen. Muir cannot believe it. He thought he hit it off of Dorfman, but instead last touch by Muir. Instead, it will be Witt Ball. Inbound pass tipped, and a foul called. Collier got a hand on that inbounds pass from Philippi, and then was fouled by Edwards. Two free throws coming. And these really could be the daggers for the Big Red in this quarterfinal matchup. Just a smart heads-up play by Garrett Collier. You've seen that all night. Not a huge scoring guy, but it's a smart player. Great court vision and excellent, excellent play there. Collier hits the first. Dennison now up by six. And this game is all but out of reach. Second one in and out for Collier. Lundberg moving quickly. The three, too strong, goes out of bounds over the backboard. Garrett Dorfman says three. That's a big, big miss. Three, eight and a half seconds left. White coming back in, replacing Collier. They got up by six. Looks like they will be moving on in the NCAC tournament. No fouling here. The Big Red are going to be dribbling it out. For the first time in a few years, Denison's moving on in the NCAC tournament. Big Red beating fifth seeder Wittenberg, 81-75. to They will be playing later this week. Some full details of who and who, when, and where the Big Red will be playing. You can find all that at DennisonBigRed.com. Of course, stick with us here on the Denison Sports Network. We'll have a full post-game wrap-up here in a few minutes. So, let's get 81-75. Denison beats Wittenberg here on the Denison Sports Network. We'll be right back with post-game here in a few minutes on DSN. Welcome back on the Denison Sports Network. Alex Kaufman here, Big Red 81-75 winners. And here with me right now is Matthew Bauer. Bauer with 19 points, 5 of 6 from the on the arc. Thank you. Matt, what got into you today? I don't know. Uh, shooting 20% on the year from the three-point line. Um, but just new, the playoffs, it's, everything's blank. And uh, everyone had a 0% uh, shooting percentage. So I just went out there, got hot. Uh, teammates were finding me. Um, you know, it was just a fun game, fun environment. So I'm uh, pretty excited right now. No, definitely. I mean, makes sense. You guys got a big NCAC tournament win. I mean, what does this mean to you guys, getting an, a conference tournament win on your home court? I mean, just to start the season, uh, not too many uh, Denison teams have had a winning season the past couple of years. I think it's only like seven or something like that. So that's just a nice little start right there. But then to play here in front of all those fans, Shout out to all those Denison kids who came out today. It's just a great environment, and I mean, we did it for them, we did it for each other. Of course, we got the W. Also, want to give a shout out to Betty Lou Bauer. Oh, Betty Lou Bauer! Man, <laughs> I know is tuning in. I know I called her earlier today. Uh, she's good luck charm. Uh, so hopefully she'll be there Friday or Saturday. Yeah, you better you make sure to call her this weekend. Uh, <laughs> yeah, best of luck once again. Congratulations on the win. Great game. We're going to be right back with full post game recap here on the Denison Sports Network. Welcome back on DSN. Alex Kaufman here. 
joined once again by John McGaw. Big Red 81-75 winners. We want to thank Matthew Bauer, player of the game. 19 points, 5 of 6 shooting. Of course, not the only great performance for the Big Red. David Muir, 24 for Denison. Um, just a comment on David Muir. He played fearless basketball tonight. Uh, definitely an unsung hero of the game. Just flawless. I mean, he was you know, very conviction. Had a lot of conviction when he was playing tonight. Not afraid to shoot. Not afraid to drive. Big reason why they're moving on today. Definitely. I mean, he was doing a little bit of everything. Hit three three-pointers. Five of seven from the free throw line. Had some layups. Had a couple of rebounds. Even an assist in there. Really doing it, doing it all. Of course, Jet Spielman also with 14 for the Big Red. Seven of eight from the free throw line. Including a big four free throw stretch off of two technicals on the Tigers. Of course, for Wittenberg, their season comes to an end. They fall to 14 and 12 overall. Jalen Williams led the way for the Tigers with 17 points, followed by Cody Phillippe, who had 13, five assists as well, and Garrett Dorfman, who had 12. Of course, the Big Red don't know exactly yet who they'll be taking on in the semifinals of the NCAC tournament. But you can find out all that information, DennisonBigRed.com. You'll be able to find everything out for where, when, and who the Big Red will be playing as they continue their NCAC tournament run. So, for our crew here at Livingston Gymnasium, Grace Murray on camera, Lexus Boyajas on the digital scoreboard, Joe Majoy and Benson Anderson on stats, our SIDs, Craig Hicks and Jason Miller. Most importantly, my color man, John McGaw. Have a good evening, everybody. Big Red winners, 81 to 75.